Life is slowly returning to normal here in the southern city of Sterot after 48 hours of intense fighting between the Islamic Jihad and the Israeli army. More than 50,000 kids in the south near the Gaza border could not go to school today because the school was closed. So the municipality here in Sterot have arranged for parents and kids to come here to a bomb shelter where they can play and be away from home and still enjoy some kind of freedom. Let's go inside and see what it looks like. We're now inside the bomb shelter, and this is where, the, where parents are bringing their kids to get away from home just for a brief period. I had a chance to talk to one of those parents who brought his kids here. Let's see what he had to say. I am a father of three, and in fact from yesterday when we were informed that the children could not go to school and had to stay at home, me and my wife, who is a special education teacher, had to stay with the kids. There are a few rocket alerts, and we had to run to a safe room several times. The kids, like in most of Gaza border communities and Zderot, were very scared. Despite the ceasefire between Islamic Jihad and the Israeli army, not everyone here in Zderot thinks that it will last. And they have a message for the Israeli government. I think it is good to have a ceasefire. But on the other hand, there is a ceasefire when they want. And in two more weeks, when they go back on it and attack again and again and again, there'll be a ceasefire yet again. And in the end, we won't be able to find a solution. And those who are screwed over are us. Relative peace and quiet here in the city of Sterot. But if history is any indication, it's just a matter of time before we'll see another round of fighting between Israel and the factions in the Gaza Strip. With Tom Confino, I24 News.